Namaste dear yogis, Yoga Steps is here today with a short sequence in the chair. So make sure that you have a chair nearby and you're also going to need a block. You can substitute a block with a towel and a book. So you just can wrap a book in a towel and use this one instead of a block if you don't have a block. And you also can use maybe a ball, something that's not too soft. You're going to place it in between the legs so we can keep a firm pressure to the inside, to the center line of the body. We're starting with a mudra today. So please take a seat in your chair. Sit on the front edge. I'm going to stay here it's just in the beginning so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing with my hands. So sit down, feel your feet on the floor, lengthen your spine. Now take your hands, both palms are facing up. Now you hold with your right hand your left thumb. So hold on with your right hand your left thumb. Now you bring your right palm facing up a little bit more to the ceiling, the left palm a little bit more out to the side and you place your thumb and your left middle finger together. Okay, let's do this again together. So your hands are pointing up and then you hold on with your right hand with the right four fingers, the thumb is still sticking up, holding your left thumb. Now you just twist a little bit, so my right palm is more facing up, my left palm is more facing to the side, so I can touch with my right thumb, my left middle finger. I'm going to share you on the chair now. And you're holding this mudra, we call this mudra Shanka mudra. And this Shanka Mudra is going to be hold in front of your solar plexus, your third chakra. So just hold it above your belly, your shoulders are relaxed and your elbows are really close to your body. So you're feeling supported, so you don't want to hold your arms up like this all the time. Take a deep inhale and exhale to soften your shoulder. This Mudra helps to balance the energy of your digestive system. This a little bit looks like the inner spiral of a conch and this is a symbol for your digestive system when you look down into your hands. So my, my left index finger and the other fingers they are just resting relaxed here wherever they land. On an emotional level, this mudra helps if you're feeling unsteady, if you're feeling angry, holding this mudra to get rid of this fiery energy you just don't need right now in your life because it doesn't serve you, helps on, this emo on, on your emotional level to get rid of emotions or, or to balance the energy of the emotions. We need all emotions, but sometimes we need to balance them a little bit more. Close your eyes, hold the mudra here to balance the energy of your digestive system and to find a balance emotionally so that you are not being over angry and feeling too much unsteady. I'm chanting here OM while we are holding this mantra. Uh, holding this mudra, I'm chanting the mantra OM. Feel free to chant with me together. If you are not used to do chanting, you can do it silently. We are inhaling and with each exhale, we're just chanting a little bit shorter OM like we normally do at the end of the yoga class or at the beginning. So it sounds like this. You want to keep your shoulders relaxed, holding the Shankar mudra in front of the solar plexus above your belly button. And you keep on inhaling and exhale. Om, 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 Om.
on doing this choose for yourself if you want to do it silently uh, you can want to do it loud you can whisper you can do it a little bit louder so really trust yourself here trust in the process have trust in the process and whatever feels best keep your eyes closed um, time. Om. Let the Om go. Blink your eyes open. Look one more time down and think about a wonderful Kong. This inner spiral. And just wrap your hands. Let the mudra go. And place your hands, one hand beneath your belly button and one hand above. Feel the warmth of your hands at the front of your body. And whenever you want to support your digestive system, you can place the right hand on your left hand or left on right and you start to circle either on your body or just in the energy, energy field of your body, circling clockwise around your belly button. And relax. In yoga, you can do the twisting to support your digestive system and also emotionally to work with feelings of being unsteady and really angry. So we're doing some twists in the chair. I'm sitting just on the front of the chair, just on the edge of the chair. My feet are on the floor and you inhale to lift your arms up and exhale, circle your arms down while your palms facing down to the floor. Inhale to lift your arms up, exhale, palms pointing down and circle your arms down. Inhale to lift your arms up and exhale down. Now place your hands on your legs. Lengthen your spine, bring the right hand to the outside of the chair and bring the left hand to the outside of the chair. With your inhalation, you want to lift your left arm, exhale, side bend. Inhale, lower your left hand back to the chair, lift your right arm, side bend to the other side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time to each side. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Coming back to the center. I'm turning my chair around so you can see better what I'm doing. Please stay. And for the next movement in the chair, you need the block. So you want to take the block and you're sitting sideways in the chair. So I'm starting with my legs pointing to the right side. And either remember, you can use the book with a blanket here or you can use a block. So you really want to have a really slight pressure into towards the midline. Good. Inhale to lift your arms up, lengthen your spine, reach the crown of your head up, ground your sit bones. And now with your next exhalation, start from your belly from your belly, start to twist towards the back of the chair. Maybe you want to start placing your hands to the back of the chair. Lift your spine with each inhalation. And see if you can maybe bring the hands to the outside of the chair, holding from each side. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to twist a little bit deeper, coming starting from your belly. Shoulders are relaxed. 
and I'm pushing with my right hand and I'm pulling with my left hand to work here a little bit in the twist, squeezing the block. Inhale and exhale. With your next inhale, come back, lift your arms and exhale down. You just turn around to the other side. I'm just turning around my chair again, so I'm not facing my back to you. And this time you want to have the legs going out to the left side of the chair. Good. Lift your arms up with your inhale, squeeze the block. With your next exhale, start to twist from your belly towards the back of the chair. Start first placing your hands on top of the back of the chair. Inhale to lengthen your spine. And exhale from your belly, you start to twist a little bit more, squeezing the block. And maybe you can place your hands on the outside of the chair. Keep on working here. With each inhalation, you want to lengthen your spine. And with each exhalation from your belly, you twist a little bit deeper. Don't forget to squeeze the block. You can use your hands. And I'm pulling with my right hand and I'm pushing with my left hand. So you're working a little bit here into the twist. It's a tiny little bit like getting in and out, finding a little bit different or maybe a little bit deeper twist with each exhale. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist from your belly. Inhale, come up and exhale, lower your hands down. You can bring the block down for the moment. I'm turning around facing my back so I can show you the position of the arm. So you want to bring your right arm out to the side. You turn your right thumb down and you place the right hand on your lower back. Though there's no need to go further up, so you really can stay here on your lower back. You also always can go a little bit deeper. Totally depends how it feels. I'm back here on the front of your shoulder. So you don't want to have this one happening. You want to bring your shoulder up, back and down while the hand is resting on your lower back. The other hand just remains on top of the thigh. And now you bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. So my right hand is on my back and I'm lowering my left ear towards my left shoulder. Your gaze is going down towards the floor on the left. Breathing in and out. I'll leave it up to you. This might be more than enough for your neck. You maybe want to cho choose to place the left hand just above your right ear. You're not pulling. You're just adding a little bit more weight towards into the stretch you're feeling in the right side of your neck. If your arm is up, your left arm, lower your left hand down onto your leg. Bring your head back. Release your arm. Maybe you want to work your shoulders a little bit. Good. Let's do it to the other side. Bring your left arm out to the side. Your thumb is pointing down. And then you bring your hand to the back. Remember any position that feels good in your shoulder. So you can bring your left shoulder forwards back and up and down. So there's really an opening happening in the front of your left shoulder while you have your left hand on your back. So you can bring it all the way down, maybe with your fingers touching the chair. Now you lean your right ear towards your right shoulder. You're looking down towards the floor on the right to you. Maybe this is enough for your neck. Maybe you want to place your right hand above your left ear and just bring a little bit more weight so please don't pull, just bringing a little bit more weight here to deepen the stretch. So whatever feels best for your neck today, honor your body, breathe deeply in and out. And slowly lower your hand down if your hand was up, lift your head, bring the other hand forward. And just move your shoulders a little bit. Okay. From here, you bring your right leg out to the side. You want to slide back in the chair a little bit. So when you're looking onto the chair, my left butt is positioned more in the back right, back right corner of the chair. Your right toes are pointing out to the side and you place your 
right hand to the inside of your right leg. Relax here. Allow your hips to arrive in this position, lengthen your spine. We're bringing the twist now a little bit more into the upper back area. And always when you're doing the twisting, be careful, don't push. Rather than pushing into the deepest twist in the beginning, work a little bit in and out. So let's do this together now. Inhale to lift your left arm up, lengthen your spine. And now from your belly, you start to twist towards the back of the chair and you're first placing your hand on the back of the chair. The right hand here, because what's happening when twisting to the left is that my right knee wants to come in. So you keep on pushing with your right hand to the inside of your right knee and you keep on twisting with each exhale from your belly a little bit more to the back. Maybe your hand stays here. Maybe you can bring the left hand to the outside, left outside of the back of the chair. And again, keep your right knee out, push with your right hand, and you can go maybe in and out a little bit, sliding the hand on the back of the chair, if this feels better. Or you can hold, pulsating just by using your breath. So with each inhalation, you're lengthening your spine. And with each exhale, you're kind of moving a little bit deeper from your belly into the twist. Don't forget to breathe here. Slowly come back, release, bring the leg back in and just move your shoulders a little bit. You just bring your legs to the other side. I'm turning the chair around. And you're sitting sideways, sliding the right butt towards the left corner, back corner of the chair. You bring your left leg out to the side. My left toes are pointing out to the ceiling and I'm placing my left hand on the inside of my left knee. First arrive here, allow your hips to settle into, lengthen your spine. With your inhale, lift your right arm up, lengthen your spine from the crown of your head. Then start with your exhale from your belly to twist towards the back of the chair. First place your hand on the back of the chair. Keep on inhaling to lengthen your spine and exhaling to twist from your belly. And you should feel this twist a little bit more into the upper back area. Keep on holding your left knee in position with your left hand so it's not moving into the side. And now you, if you can, you can bring your right hand to the outside of the right back of the chair. And you feel now this really brings more intensity into the back and into the shoulder area. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to pulsate a little bit deeper from your belly into this twist. If this is too much, again, you can slide and glide, getting in and out of the twist. Honoring your body here and wherever the limitations are from day to day, they are going to change. Work in your limitations and with your energy. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to twist. Slowly come back. Bring your leg back in and just relax your shoulders. Breathe in and out. Now take the block. Place the block between your knees, come to the front edge of the chair. Bring, I like to have my toes in one line with my knees. To do this, we are coming into Utkatasana. So I'm round about, no, it's not my toes, I'm aligning the knee with the center of my foot here. Your arms are back, palms facing towards your body. With your inhalation, you push your feet into the floor, you squeeze the block, you lift your belly in and up, and you get out of the chair. Keep on squeezing the block, holding this position, inhale, exhale, sit back. Inhale, push the feet, squeeze the block, come up, exhale down. Do this two more times. Inhale, push your feet, squeeze the block, come up, belly is active, and come down. Last one, feet block, come up, exhale down. And next time when we are coming up, you stay here, squeeze the block, pull your belly in, hold it. Breathing in and out through your nose, and then slowly come up to stand. Lower your arms down. Roll your shoulders a few times. Now we're just lowering from stand into Utkatasana. So inhale to lift your arms up, 
And exhale, you want to bring your arms down, this time coming back in Utkatasana, like you want to sit back down onto the chair. Inhale, come up, push your feet into the floor, feel you're squeezing the block between your legs. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Last one, inhale, push your feet, come up. Exhale down. My feet are active pushing, my knees are active pushing the block, my belly is in. Now slowly sit back onto the chair and trust the chair is still there. Good, move your shoulders a little bit. We are keeping the block between the legs. I'm just turning my chair a little bit so you can have better view on the, on the movement we are doing. Good. Relax. And you want to inhale to lift your right arm up. Let's turn the chair the other way so you can really see it better this way. Okay, now I'm with you. So you want to bring your right arm up, squeeze the block. Again, you have this 90 degree angle from your thighs to your lower legs. And you're lengthening your spine and now you're twisting from the belly towards your left leg. You lower your right arm down in whatever you can reach. Maybe it is the lower arm, the outside of the lower arm. Maybe it's more going towards your elbow. Maybe it's going more towards your upper arm. And then you bring the right arm, the, sorry, the left arm, and you bring your thumb pointing down and you're circling your arm back so you can hold onto your arms. So also the length of your arm is going to limit where you can positioning the hand because you don't want to pull too much on this left shoulder here. Now we are working in this position. You're lengthening your spine first. It's really important to reach with the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Now you squeeze the block and you push with the outside of your right arm towards the leg. You think about to bring the right armpit forward and you want to bring the left shoulder back. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, squeeze the block, push with your right arm, bring the right armpit forward, the left shoulder back. Do this one more time. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, squeeze the block, push the arm, bring the right armpit forward, the left shoulder back. And then let it all go. Inhale. And exhale down. You stay where you are. I'm just turning my chair the other way so I can see what we're doing on the other side. You're sitting on the front edge of the chair. Block is still in between your legs. Lift your left arm up. Relax your shoulders. Lengthen your spine. Twist from your belly towards your right leg. Now lower this arm down. Maybe it's more towards your wrist. Maybe it's more towards your elbow. Maybe it's above your elbow. Before you're finding the final position, bring your right arm out to the side. Turn your thumb down and hold on to the back of the chair. So now you might be see how deep you won't go. If you want to go too deep and you're rounding your back, that doesn't make any sense. You want to be able to keep your spine long. And with your inhalation, you squeeze the block and you, with your inhalation, lengthen your spine. Sorry. Exhale, squeeze the block, push with the outside of your left arm towards your leg and you want to twist your left armpit forward and your right shoulder back. Inner to lengthen your spine. Exhale, squeeze the block, push with your left arm, bring the left armpit forward, the right shoulder back. One more time, squeeze the block with your inhalation. And exhale, push with your arm, bring the left armpit forward, the right shoulder back. You're looking to the side in a position that feels comfortable for your neck. Slowly come back, inhale up. And exhale down. Place your hands on your legs. Just roll your shoulders a few times. Move your head from side to side. A few circles with your nose. Think about your nose as a pencil. And you're drawing a circle and reverse. And then take the block to the side. Slide back in the chair. Place your hands on your legs and close your eyes for a moment.
align the ears with your shoulders. Think about this back part of your head is lifting up. There's a slight tucking of your chin happening when you're doing this. Shoulders are back. Your belly is soft. And you don't want to push your lower ribs out, so soften your lower ribs, soften your belly. Feel your feet on the floor. Slowly rub your hands again. Feel the warmth. Place one hand above the belly, the other hand beneath the belly. Feel the energy that moves from the inside of your hands towards the, the body and the home of the digestive system. Place your hands together. Thank you very much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed the twisting in the chair. Rewatch it maybe again, maybe do it a second time. And always listen to your body. Never push into a twist. If it's too much, go out, go in it again. So really give your body the time to relax into this twisting and it feels so much better. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel and you will always get an information when I'm posting new videos. If you have questions, type your question in and I'm reaching out to you. Or if you want to leave a comment on um, how you liked the video and how you felt after, please do so. Do so. I love to hear from you. Bye, my dear yogi friends. Have a wonderful day.